guys welcome back to my channel so for today's look we're going to be doing a prom gold smoky tutorial I don't know what I'm gonna call this yet but you guys can see what it looks like and thanks so much Monica for being on my channel and being my model and without further ado let's get into the tutorial and let's get this look to start I'm gonna take the MAC prep and prime and I'm gonna prime Monica's eyelids you want to make sure you get this very evenly coated around her eyelids and I'm gonna take orange soda on a morphe m441 brush and this is going to be our transition color and this is basically just going to be a light wash of color all over the top of her eyelid and i'm going to make sure to evenly blend that out and kind of fan it out towards the outer corner of her eyes into like a v formation then i'm going to take um, the darker colors towards the bottom on that same brush and i'm going to stamp it on the outer corner of her eyelids making sure to blend it in with the burnt orange that we have on top and making sure that it's evenly coated and evenly blended throughout her eye. I'm then going to take the shade Cypress Umber and I'm going to start stamping that on a Zoeva 254 brush. And you want to work in patting motions, adding more pigment as you go. You don't want to go in with too much pigment so that it's really hard to blend. You want to just add more, take away, add more, take away. Pretty much just evenly blend it throughout the eye. And then I'm going to start to use that brush to blend it together in with the lighter oranges, working that into the other colors on the top of her eyes. So now I'm gonna take the shade bronze and the shade glistening on a packer brush, and I'm gonna make sure to wet that packer brush so that way I can get the best possible outcome on the shadow. I'm gonna make sure to stamp that on the inner corner of her eye and basically do a half cut crease on her eyelid. As you can see here, I'm kind of just etching out her eyelid space and creating a half cut crease. And then you wanna take a fluffy brush and bend the outer edges to make sure that there's no harsh lines and no harsh edges anywhere. I'm really excited to use these basically dupes for Steel and Magnificent Metals. And this is the shade Luster Light and I'm taking it um, and just intensifying that cut crease or that half cut crease. And this shade is very beautiful. It has some shifts of um, pink in it and it does complement this look very well because it's very gold, it's very muted, but when you get up close, it does have some shifts of teal. You can see, um, we're gonna let it dry for a little bit. You can see that it just, impacted the eye a little bit more gave her a little bit of like a brow lift i guess you would say um because these are kind of like the steel and visit metal glitters um i kind of want to stamp them into place and make sure that they dry throughout the process it looks like these are pretty good dupes and i got it in a set um of 40 with a little baggie for 40 dollars. i mean and you can use the code trend mood i think is what i use to save some money and they also have their own codes that they can give you for 15 percent off Obviously, this isn't fucking sponsored, but, like, these are really freaking bomb. I'm then going to take the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, and I'm going to line the top of Monica's um, lash line. We're not going to go in with lashes today. We're just going to go with mascara. So this is a nice trick to kind of enhance the lash line, because when she opens her eyes, there's going to be a thin, dark line that's going to act as kind of like a base for her lashes so that way they look more dramatic they look more full they look more voluminous because she is going to just go in with her natural lashes today and i'm going to go ahead and do her lashes off camera and i'll be right back so we did her brows off camera i'll tell you what i used i used the l'oreal brow stylist definer which is apparently really slept on so if you don't have money for brows, go ahead and try this one which i just bought but it didn't do this so i'm just saying you don't don't downplay your talent, okay? Cause Thank you. <laughs> anyone can buy that shit, but true. And then I went with the Ardell Stroke Bag. I've talked about this product like once before on my channel, but um, it's basically a feathering pen, and you can draw little brow strokes. You have to leave it like facing down when you're gonna put it down. You can find it at Sally's, and it should last for up to two days if you do it correctly. And then I went in with the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. So all drugstore products for her brows. You're welcome. Spray her face with a little bit of the Mario Badesco rose water. I'm gonna take a clean beauty blender and just press that into her skin. Monica doesn't really need a pore filling primer because she doesn't have pores. Oh really? Good one. 
It's true. Good but I am going to go in with the Tatcha because it's bougie and luxurious and she deserves it. Anything Tatcha and she deserves it. Um, and this is post finals. Do I deserve is, it? Yes. Yeah. And then I've I've talked about this on my channel before. Oh shit! Look at that. Yeah. It's, it's like a, whipped or something. Yeah. Okay. It's a pore filling primer, and it's the best that I've used so far, honestly. And it has like skincare in it, so like over time, it's gonna help you. And I've heard it also um, has ingredients that combats from like natural toxins that happen within like. The environment's like chemical pollution, so it's like a little barrier for your skin. Think about that, like what's in the air. Yeah, like, that we really. Live in the suburbs, so yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. When but I like, go to New York, people oh, live in the city. It's like, no. let me mm -mm. do my skincare, mm -mm. especially LA. All the smog. I've heard people say oh about that. Yeah. Same thing when I was in London. It was like really bad. Yeah. Wear your sunscreen, like. Do as I say, not as I do, because I don't wear sunscreen and I should be wearing sunscreen. I didn't wear sunscreen today, oops. Honestly, I need to buy I laid out in the sun and still didn't wear it. Oh well. Because you didn't burn, so you're fine. No, I looked at a spot on my shoulder and I was like, is that cancer? <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> I like, if I sit down for long enough and I look at it, I'm like, I can convince myself. I have here the Maybelline Matte and Poreless 120. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure. Giving it much, yeah. Do you want my honest opinion or do you want Yeah, to I think you? your honest opinion is good. That's gonna no. not gonna match me. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do this on the perimeters just because mm -hmm. we're going for a more like glowy tan look. We're gonna fake it till we make it. I could have brought some of my shit. I knew you weren't gonna have the fucking palest color available. Well, I have my palette. So I have a RCMA makeup palette that I can use and it has like really pale foundation. So, so I'm gonna take my RCMA palette. I've talked about this before I think on my channel, but basically it's like a palette that I use when I do freelance work. I have two of them. This is the one that has lighter shades and then I never get to use the darker one because I never do anybody that's like darker than me, but it has darker shades in there as well. So if you're darker than I am and you want me to do your makeup, hit me up. I would love to have you on my channel. So I've been trying to showcase like inclusivity in my channel, so like showcase that like. You're trying to showcase inclusivity, but you have the whitest girl that you know. Well, this is also like. I know. I'm just kidding. You started with like. Who else did you? Marcella's way more tan than me. Yeah, she's, so she's pale though right now. She, she's pale though right now. Her pale is like she's my like, tan. She's so. like pale than me. She just have olive skin, so she looks a little bit tan. She's, she has she tan, has such nice skin. Yeah, she has so tan comparable to um, Desi. Yeah, yeah I noticed so, that. I was like, damn. But she's just way, what a life. way fairer. Well, what a life. What kind of skin do you have, Monica? Fucked up skin. No. <laughs> like, the right is answer. it dry skin or is it um, um normal? It's probably normal. It never gets oily and it doesn't really get dry, but it, I don't know. I get, like, hormonal acne. Okay. So... It's, there's parts of the month where it's really nice, and I'm just like, ugh. And then it goes away. And it gets really bad. And then you're like, oh no. And fuck my life. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Um, but yeah. My skin's always been pretty. It's never been, like, oily. I've never been the type of person that has to, like, blot in the middle oh, of the day. Oh, that's me. But it's still, like... My skin is also wicked sensitive, you know that. Oh, yes. That's why I was scared to do this, because I was like, oh. I feel like it's just gonna irritate... I'm trying Every to use like part of it. nice products though. I mean, all of these products are nice, but like. Your just skin is just like that yeah. much more like. There was a time like in high school where I told myself if I only bought like high end foundations, they wouldn't make me break out. But they still did. But yeah. I was just. It's just like you. Because it's annoying because it's I'm like. I'm just so sensitive to everything. Literally, the stuff that you always recommend and I try. I feel bad for uh, recommending it though. No, it's not your fault. It's literally like, I don't know what it is. Yeah. My mom told me though that when I was on really heavy antibiotics when I was younger, mm -hmm. that can like fuck up your gut health. Really? And all bad skin like starts in the gut, so you, if you are like on antibiotics, it'll affect your ability. Oh my god, ability. that's scary. Yeah. I guess we should tell the viewers how we met. Oh yeah. We met in high school. In high school. Um, you probably know this better than me because I have a really bad memory for everything. I really do too. I'm trying to remember the first time I met you. I thought you were wicked popular because everyone knew me you were. And that was intimidating. But you were new to the school, so like it would make sense. Like, well, yeah, I thought you thought everybody was popular. No, everyone was popular except for me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? No. I mean, you were new. That's how it usually goes. Look up. 
I mean, yeah, I remember you took was, photos for like the new student. Was it a newspaper? What was it? Big Red Hawks. For, that's what it was. Big Red Hawks. I forgot about that. The Big Red Hawks. Yo, edit my laugh out because that was an embarrassing laugh. But yeah, I forgot about Big Red Hawks. She loved England. Oh, I was obsessed with England. She was like, bitch, right after high school, I'm moving out there. Yeah, I don't know why that happened. I was just following, like, an inner guidance system. I, mean, I like, yeah. really wanted to go and so I went. At the time, it made sense, so, like... It really didn't make sense. <laughs> it really didn't? It really didn't. No, it was, like, the most illogical thing for me to do. But, like, at the time, you wanted to do it, and you did it, so... Right. But, like, Could you look you at for credits... Actually, like, looking through. Going through and doing it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Who can say that, oh, my first year of college, I went to London. Because mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I learned a lot. That was like a year for growth. A lot of people, when I came back, they were like, oh, what a year for partying. I was like, bitch, no. I was depressed and crying the whole time. <laughs> Me! And like afraid to leave the house because I was scared of public transportation. <laughs> transportation. Oh, public transportation? <laughs> yeah, I was terrified. I look a little bit like dead right now. It's just because it has, you have funny I'm dead inside lips. anyway. <laughs> After finals, like, I'm dead inside. Girl, Farber looks really good, though. TBT to when Vinny actually did this to his lips. It literally can see what he's like. I'm calling you out, bitch. I'm calling you out. We both went our ways. Like, I went to London, then came back. You went to New York, and then came back. Yeah. And then we have found our way back to each yeah. other. Literally. For depression and... Depression and... <laughs> and uncertainty. Really bad brows. Literally. You taught me how to do my brows, like, way too late in the game. You should have taught me that first. I mean, I was... I mean, you I, didn't really I have my own journey. That's true. Insert pictures here of my brows. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, honey, these are called choices. Look how far apart my brows are. Look, sister, she's serving. One's in Massachusetts and one's in Florida. Look at that. She's cute, but her brows, bitch, they are not. Look, bitch, look how fucking far apart my brows were. And then, look, I also decided to shave my fucking hairline. Yep, that was me. I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane and me embarrassing myself. So, back to our scheduled programming. I went in with the MAC Patrick Star Powder under her eyes, and now I'm going to take um, the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Fair. That's me. Fair as fuck. I don't think I can use Give Me Some on you. It's going to be way too nope. warm. And it'll probably break me out, but... Yeah, I'm going to... Does Hula break you out, too? Everything's going to break me out. It's fine. I've just I've just kind of accepted that. But still, no... I don't... It's okay. I got the... Hangover Care by Tim Yeah. Broke me out. Did that it really? CC cream that everyone loves. <laughs> We're so loves. excited about it. Yeah, I'm returning it, bitch. And I lost the receipt. I don't care. They can look it up, I think. Yeah, I use my rewards. But what was the other thing I bought? Um, oh, you know the It Cosmetics CC cream mm -hmm. foundation? Yeah. Bought that. Fuck me up. Really? Yep. Yeah. And, like, the thing is, is it's kind of, like, always a question of, like, how do you know if something's breaking you out or if it's just you're having bad skin? Mm -hmm. But I know because you get breakouts in places you would normally get breakouts. Yeah. That's the key. Yeah. If anyone is ever wondering. And if anyone ever tells you you need to go through a detox phase for a product, fuck that bitch. That's not true. Okay? Don't do that. <sighs> it's not, I used to think that all the time. Like, oh, I'll just use this product for a month and then my skin will adjust. No, that doesn't happen. That shouldn't happen. I'm going to go in with a... Shade in my palette. I'm going to take this cool, cool tone shade. Mm -hmm. It's a Quantua. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe M5, M5 70 brush. Sounds like a type of plane. Or like a gun. I mean, I'm I'm oh, speaking of planes. Um, I cannot wait to travel this Me year. Me either. Okay, if you could go anywhere, like tomorrow, where would you go? If you say California, I'm going to fucking kill you. No. Maybe I love you, but I want to be California. No, it wouldn't be California. It'd probably be Australia. <gasps> Me too! Really? We should go. We should. They have so many good vegan Actually, restaurants there. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't tell them I'm a vegan. They'll hate me. They're not gonna hate you. Don't tell your viewers. I'm sure most, I'm a lot to of them are vegan too. I'm image for your viewers. What should I be for you viewers? Ooh, look at that contour. I'm gonna blend it, but look at that contour. Honestly, this is nice and cool. What is this? It's a shade of white palette. By, uh, by Calandia. Oh shit. Look at that jawline. Yo, you, you just created that, like Michelangelo or some shit, because I don't have one of those. Yes, you do. No. I don't have one of those. Like, hello, where is it? I mean, I, you, you can see that I have, I have a beard. That's why I keep my beard. Hello? I feel bad. This is the second time I pulled the let's go somewhere on you, and you were like, 
I mean, it's it's literally fine. It happens all the time, so I'm used to it. Not with yeah, people, I would but probably it with go. People. I mean, in the in the U.S. But and people that are in my situation, like, what do you mean? Yeah. I'm like, I'm not gonna explain it to I'm you. Not, no, no, no. It's not my my job. So but if you so. go anywhere in the U.S., where would you go? Um, Oregon. Oregon. Oh, yeah. I'm probably going this. I'm probably going because what? I have a friend. I should hang out. <laughs> oh, uh, I met her in. Wait, can we be friends? Literally, she. Okay, let me show you a picture. Friend Ashton. Ashton, if you're watching, hey girl. Um, she lives in Oregon. I met her in North Carolina when I went, and I told her that I wanted to visit her. And there's a, a waterfall like where she lives. And I was thinking, well, at first I thought, because she took a picture with her um, mm -hmm. husband, and I'm like, oh my god, it looks so freaking pretty. But then I was like, my second thought was like, getting ready in front of a waterfall. Oh yeah, like, that'd, that'd be really a, funny. A, a you couldn't do, the whole thing would have to be a voiceover though, it would probably be wicked loud. You would love Oregon. Oh, I saw this on your, you I saw this Oregon. on your thing. Yeah, I would so love that place. But that is a nose contour. Let's blend that shit. Oh, yes, please. I love it. Okay, and then this is my, like one of my secrets, or one of the brushes that I love to use. It is the Morphe E47 brush, it's like an angled brush. Um, you can't see it, but that's how it looks like. And I'm gonna take that powder, and I'm gonna come right into the sides of her nose. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, now we're gonna smoke out under her lower lash line. I'm going to take the shade Orange, Burnt Orange and Orange Soda, and run that under her lash line. Alright, so my camera stopped recording. I don't know to what extent. I was doing her under her eye. I'm just gonna explain what I did. I did her under eyes and then I took um, the Milani Starlight under her eyes. Just a little bit of pop of something. For highlight, I went with the Rose Palette and I took the shades Cheers and Shine. Her nose contour is pretty straightforward. Um, for blush, I went with these two brushes, blushes here. Highlighted like normal. I don't think we missed too much, but... She wanted to address it. She's gonna do her mascara off camera. Mm -hmm. And this time we'll make sure we're recording. Can we take the foundation off my lips? Yeah. Are you recording? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Hi guys. Just wiping off my uh, big ass brown lines <laughs> because my face. It just means she's expressive. It just means I need Botox. <laughs> I am I, I expressive. <laughs> I know that. I don't know what to do. Normally I like fake there's, them. There's a. Um, you know who gets really bad smile lines, especially for like shoots? Who? Oh. Kathleen Lights. Have you ever heard of her? No. Well, she gets really bad smile lines to the point where like she has to be touched up every five minutes. She's because she has a nail <laughs> polish line. Sounds like me. Um, Sounds like me. She um, says that she needs to get touched up every every time. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, sorry. I'm going with the um, Kylie Exposed lip liner, and she tried this new um, Kiehl's product. It's probably a little bit expensive, but it's like a a skincare product. It's like a line concentrate. It's like a for wrinkles and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she says that it helps diminish her fine lines when she's wearing makeup. And it's also a skincare thing, so it's like a so I would get like a sample of it. Lips is that thing where it's like everything can go wrong. So I feel like lips are so personal. <laughs> I'm dead. Like, I know that I'm going to have to do some length. By personal, he means uneven and unsymmetrical. That's what he means. My lips are unsymmetrical. And no, they're not. Well. Yours are fucking perfect. If you swear, is it going to translate into the captions? Because I feel like that would be really disappointing if it didn't. It does. Maybe, but it might be, like, blurred out or something. Who knows? Censorship. Going to go in with KKW and Kylie Cosmetics Crime Look Lipstick in the shade Kiki. Open your mouth. And that is the... F look how pretty you look. Don't look how pretty you look. Come on. You look really pretty. So you agree? You think you're really pretty? <laughs> is that it? Literally. No, I I mean like... Yeah. Down. Look up. Pose. Pose. Pose how? Yeah. This is the final look. What do you guys think? This is my version of a natural prom tutorial. I don't know if I'm going to call it that yet, but... Mm. What do you think? I don't know what I'll call it. 
Have you ever seen? What do you think of the look so far, though? What oh, I you? love it. I love the brows are my favorite. Mm -hmm. I love anything gold, too. So, like, gold is always kind of my go-to, mm -hmm. so. And I, I didn't gold. know, like, kind of where to go with your lips. So I kind of did a nude, but kind of like a peachy nude. I think if I were going to do them, I don't know. When I do gold on my eyes, I do, like, a like a beige mm -hmm. lip and then mm -hmm. a really light pink on top. That's yeah. what I did for New Year's. Yeah. So, nice. so you can like basically pair this look with anything like yeah the eyes to a degree are so simple you can like pair this like if you want to do like classic like red you could do like a mm -hmm. a beige you could do a nude you could do just like a light gloss i paired it with like peachy tone if you guys enjoyed this little tutorial let me know down below what you guys thought of the look make sure to follow monica i'll leave her social medias down below make sure you stalk her make sure you go through her old pictures don't and go send through it to her old pics but yeah honestly go ahead you can hate I need some haters. Yeah, but look at this glove. Look how she looks like right now. That's all that matters. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. The forehead looks fucking good. Um, I can already see the finished version of this video, and I'm just so I'm, I think I'm not that tan. I just took something next to you. That should be the, like, title or something. Hello. Fuck you. <laughs> Yo, do you have anything in my shade? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> that was fucking love with the intro, bitch! I hope that they're not fucked up. Uh, that's time.